Hi, and welcome to Three Minute Maths. This is all about dividing video. <laughs> so, this is all about dividing fractions. So, let's jump right into a question. Let's say we've got something like 6 elevenths, and that's going to be divided by 12 33s. Okay, so when we're dividing fractions, one of the tricks that we use is we actually flip it the other way around and we multiply it. Let me show you what I mean. So we've got 6 11, so that stays the same, but actually then we multiply and flip this around the other way, and it becomes 33 over 12. Okay, and that's the trick we always use for dividing fractions. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to reduce it and make my numbers a little bit easier to deal with. So if I divide the top by 6, I get 1, and the bottom by 6, I get 2. Uh, the bottom by 11, I get 1. The top by 11, I get 3. So now if I multiply those together, I get 1 times 3, which is 3, divided by 1 times 2, which is 2. That's a top-heavy fraction. I'm going to convert it back to a mixed number, and that's going to give me 1 and a half, which is the answer to this question. If you need to know how to do this, have a look at the multiplication video on 3 Minute Maths. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is make it a little bit trickier by making some, or putting some numbers in place as well. So let's say we've got a question which is something like 3 and 7 elevenths, and that's divided by 2 and 12 33s. Well, this is probably like a GCSE or an exam based question. What we have to do is convert it again to top heavy fractions. So if I convert that, I'm going to get 40 over 11, and that's going to be divided by, I'm going to convert this, and it's going to give me 78 over 33. And exactly the same way that I did here, what I'm going to do is turn this around and multiply it. So it's going to be 40 over 11, and that's going to be multiplied by the flip of that, which is 33 over 78. Okay, so what I've got now is the ability to reduce the fraction and make my numbers a little bit easier to deal with. So I'm going to divide the bottom by 11, I get 1, top by 11, I get 3. Then I've got 40 and 78. Well, Okay, I don't really like 78, it's a big number to deal with, but what I can do at least is I can reduce this by 2. So if I divide that by 2, I get 20. If I divide that by 2, I get 39. Well, actually, that's pretty good, because now what I can do is reduce even further. And if I divide that 3 by 3, I get 1. Divide that by 3, I get 13. So my direct equivalent fraction to all of this calculation is going to be 20 times 1, which is 20, and 1 times 13, which is 13. So it means the answer to this question, if I convert that back again, is one whole and then 7 13s left over. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do have a look at some of the other videos, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.